my fellow bassists. Welcome back to the Intermediate Tapping course. Today, I'm gonna to show you three really musical exercises I created that will show you how to use pull-offs and slides in a very melodic way. The last exercise will also teach you some really beautiful arpeggios that you can only play using tapping. If you practice these exercises for half an hour, five days per week, within a couple of weeks, your tapping speed and dexterity will have improved a lot, and you'll have three short, beautiful pieces that you can perform at any time. So without further ado, let's get into the first exercise. All right, so the first phrase of the exercise goes like this. So that actually sounds fairly complicated and impressive, but it's not too difficult. The good news is that your right hand does the same thing every single measure of this phrase. So that means if you can master the first measure, all you have to do is move your left hand around. Start by putting your left index finger on fret 10 on the A string, and then make a power chord with an octave with your ring finger and pinky on fret 12. Then get your right middle finger ready on fret 14 on G and play this. The next part of the phrase is exactly the same, but now you're forming a power chord and octave on fret six on the A string like this. The rest of the exercise is very similar with only slight variations in each hand, so let's try playing the whole exercise along with the backing track. If you didn't get it 100% right on the first go, don't worry, just feel free to go back and keep trying. Also, if you want to practice that at slower or faster tempos, you can get the full practice videos, backing tracks, and tabs for all of these exercises over at the Basecamp Patreon page. All right, so that exercise was pretty arpeggiated. This next exercise is gonna show you how to use pull-offs and slides in a more melodic way. Like last time, your left hand's gonna be doing a lot of power chords with the octaves, and for the first phrase, your left hand is gonna be looking like this. Then we add the right hand melody, which goes like this. The next phrase uses the exact same rhythms in the left hand, but the chords are different. Now when I add the right hand, you're going to see it's a little bit more scalar than what we had before. If you can play both of those phrases, you've basically got the whole exercise, so let's try playing the whole thing together now.
struggling with these at all, check out this video, which has slightly more straightforward exercises. So those last two exercises both showed you how to use right hand slides and pull offs to create more musical melodies. This final exercise is made up of arpeggios that use all four strings. So we're going to play some more colorful arpeggios that you can only play by using tapping, like this voicing of C minor flat six over E flat. I'm going to show you the first phrase, and once you have that under your fingers, the rest of the exercise uses very similar shapes, fingerings, and rhythms. So let's just loop the first measure together slowly. So you're going to put your index finger on fret 13 on the E string, and your ring finger on your left hand on fret 14 on the G string. Then you're going to put your right hand index finger on fret 15 on the A string, and your ring finger on fret 17 on the D string, and then you're gonna play this pattern. Like with the first exercise, if you can get that first measure down, you can play the rest of the exercise. Take a look at this. So now let's try playing the whole thing together with the backing track. The absolute best way to improve quickly at tapping is to join over 4,000 fellow bassists at the Basecamp Patreon community. You'll get instant access to the beginner tapping masterclass, intermediate tapping lesson one, and over 50 other exclusive practice videos and lessons covering everything from slap to ear training and a lot more. So head over there if you want to finally master tapping or any other aspect of bass playing. Thank you all so much for coming here and practicing with me. Remember to practice these exercises around 30 minutes per day, five days per week if you can, or if that's not possible, just do as much as you can and your tapping will improve a lot. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.